our internet service providers claim to provide us with certain download and upload speeds throughout our subscription. But do they really keep up their promises the entire time? It would be incredibly tiring to keep track of our internet speeds manually. So why not build a device that can monitor our internet speeds for us? In this video, we will show you how you can build the nifty little device that monitors your internet speeds even when you're asleep. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi. Any version of the Raspberry Pi will do. A micro SD card of at least 8GB with Raspbian preloaded. A functional PC to interact with the Raspberry Pi. To begin, fire up terminal on Raspbian. Firstly, we will make sure that our Pi is up to date using these two commands. We will be using the Python library called speeddestcli which acts as a command line interface that interacts with speeddest.net. To use this library, we must first install the Python PIP package. We can do that using the following command. Now, we need to download the speedtestcli python library, which we can do using the command on screen. We can now test out the CLI by using the following code. The information on screen can be daunting. To simplify things, we will add the simple argument to it. We can get more concise information using the following command. Now that we have installed all the required libraries, we will write a Python script that will continually monitor our download and upload speed. Firstly, we navigate to the home directory using the cd command. And now, we can create the Python script file using our nano editor tool. In the Python script file, Copy and paste the text from the description as we explain what each section of the script does. Firstly, we import some libraries that are used in the script. Then, we use the subprocess library to process everything from the speedtestcli command as standard output. The stdout read command helps in storing the results from the speed test to our response variable. These three lines obtain our ping, download speed and upload speed and extract the numerical value from the response. These three lines will help us format the numbers which is grouped by replacing the decimal points by commas since we are using a comma separated values or CSV format. This section allows us to open our speed test CSV file and write the speeds to the file. The try statement keeps the code from error messages. This line allows us to write the date and time to the speed test CSV file just before our download and upload speeds. We can now press Ctrl plus X, then Y and Enter to save and close our nano editor. We now need to create the directory within which our CSV file will be saved. We can do that using the make directory command. Now, to test the script that we wrote, we can use the following command. The results are saved in the CSV file which we can inspect using the following command. You should see something like this in the CSV file which confirms that our script is working correctly. Now we can move to automating this whole process so that the file is updated regularly. We can write a script file that will allow us to do just that. Let's create the file and open it using our nano editor using the following command. Write in the following bash commands in the file. Press Ctrl and X then Y and Enter to save. Let's modify the permissions for the script using the chmod command. We now need to call the script using crontab which will execute the script regularly on the Raspberry Pi. 
We can begin editing Crontab using the Crontab command. Select one on the prompt and press enter. Let's add the following line to the bottom of the file, which will tell Crontab to run the script every hour. If you want another schedule, you can head over to Crontab Guru that explains how you can modify the schedule of the script. And now you can monitor your network speeds over the desired amount of time. Navigate to the following directory to obtain the internet speed records your Raspberry Pi has been gathering. You can even go the extra mile by creating a chart for a visual representation of your speed data and finally find out if your network ISPs are giving you the service they claim to be giving. If this video was useful to you, we would really appreciate a sub and a like. We post new videos every Sundays, so make sure you press the bell icon to be always up to speed with us. And as always guys, don't forget to keep dialing pixels.